This Not Attack, A Case for the Princesses, A Story by Auntie Joan for Her Nice Nieces, Granny Gundi and Auntie Isa Helped a Lot. King Mike wants to take a day off from governing to drive his Porsche. Queen Melvania cannot represent him because she is occupied with the distribution of medicine to their people. Who can help out? The three princesses answer. We'll help you, Daddy. The king kisses them and advises his daughters. Be wise and rule my country kindly. Serenity Cranny and the advice Naomi will support you. Princess Tonata is the eldest daughter and puts on the crown. Princess Jocophine is the middle daughter and picks up the scepter. Princess Alanini is the youngest daughter and crawls on the throne. Serenity Cranny joins her grandchildren. Advisor Naomi storms into the throne room and brings news. Your Highnesses, the crocodile Cocodillo sneezed on the gorilla Gollo, right in the face, straight into the eyes. The princesses look at each other. Naomi takes a deep breath and continues. Sergeant Sun has caught the crocodile Cocodillo. He takes it to the palace so that you can question it. Tell us why you sneezed on Gorilla Gollo, Princess Tonata orders and adjusts the crown. Tell us, Princess Chocophine orders and waves the scepter. Kitty, Princess Alanini orders. She wants to hear the story too, but Kitty is her favorite word. The crocodile cocodrillo snorts. Your princesses, I was swimming peacefully when suddenly a butterfly fluttered onto my nose. It tickled my nostrils and I had to sneeze. So it's butterfly bass's fault that my snot had gorilla gollo. Serenity Cranny asks the three princesses. What do you think? What should Crocodile Cocodrillo have done differently? The three princesses confer with each other. You mustn't sneeze on people. Cocodrillo has to put the crook of his elbow in front of his mouth when he sneezes. But Buster wasn't nice either. Tickling strangers just like that is rude. The advisor Naomi nods and suggests. We should listen to the butterfly bus. The princesses, Serenity Cranny, and the advisor Naomi visit Butterfly Buster at his flower meadow. Tell us why you tickled the nose of the crocodile Cocodrillo, Princess Tonada orders and adjusts the crown. Tell us, Princess Chocophine orders and waves the scepter. Kitty, Princess Alanini orders. She wants to hear the story too, but Kitty is her favorite word. Butterfly Busters chatters. Dear princesses, I flew on the nose of the crocodile Cocodillo because I wanted to get the crocodile boogie. My friend Flamingo Flavio asked me to. I just wanted to stand by a friend. I can't help it that Crocodillo sneezed on the gorilla Gollo. Serenity Cranny asks, What do you think? What should Butterfly Buster have done differently? The three princesses confer with each other. Buster should have asked Cocodrillo for the boogie instead of just landing on him. Even if a friend asks for something, there is no reason to endanger yourself. Cocodrillo has a big mouth. The butterfly could have been swallowed. Why did Flamingo Flavio send the butterfly? The advisor Naomi nods and suggests, you should listen to the Flamingo Flavio. The princesses, Serenity Cranny and advisor Naomi, visit Flamingo Flavio at his pond. Tell us why you need a boogie from Crocodile Crocodillo, Princess Tonata orders and adjusts the crown. Tell us, Princess Jocophine orders and waves the scepter. Kitty, Princess Elenini orders. She wants to hear the story too, but Kitty is her favorite word. Flamingo Flavio croaks. My esteemed Manchester City titties, I need the crocodile boogie to prove a cure. Koala Corona has a stomach ache and needs medicine. I'm very sorry that the gorilla Gollo was sneezed on, but I have nothing to do with it. 
Serenity Cranny asks. What do you think? What should Flamingo Flavio have done differently? The three princesses confer with each other. Flavio should have sent Koala Carola to our mom. Boogies are unsanitary. You shouldn't eat them. Flavio is not a doctor or pharmacist. He shouldn't have mixed medicine himself. Advice and Naomi nods and suggests. We should listen to Carola Carola. The princesses Serenity Cranny and the advisor Naomi visit the Koala Carola in the jungle. Tell us why you went to Flamingo Flavio with your stomach egg, Princess Tonata orders and adjusts the crown. Tell us, Princess Shogofin orders and waves the scepter. Kitty, Princess Alanini orders. She wants to hear the story too, but Kitty is a favorite bird. The Koala Carola crawls. Your most princely, my trusty's totalities. I have a stomach ache because I ate too much cake. Gorilla Golo baked it, but he shouldn't have offered it to me. I ask Flavio for help because everybody says that he has the best medicine. Serenity Cranny asks, What do you think? What should Koala Carola have done differently? The three princesses confer with each other. You have to stop eating when you had enough. Carola should go to a real doctor and not a flamingo. Koalas can only tolerate eucalyptus. Carola needs to know what she can eat and stick to it. Advisor Naomi suggests we should listen to the Gorilla Golo. The princesses Serenity Granny and Advisor Naomi visit Gorilla Golo at the waterfall. Why did you bake a cake for Koala Carola? Don't you know that Koala bears can only eat eucalyptus? Tell us, Princess Tonada orders and adjusts the crown. Tell us, Princess Shogofin orders and waves the scepter. Kitty, Princess Elenini orders. She wants to hear the story too, but Kitty is her favorite word. Gorilla Golo scratches his head and says, Oops. Serenity Cranny asks, What do you think? What should Gorilla Golo have done differently? The three princesses confer with each other. Golo should inquire about allergies before giving food away. Gorilla Golo should give Koala Carola eucalyptus sweets. So Golo caused the whole mess. Advisor Naomi says, Now we have interviewed everyone. Advisor Naomi sums it up. The gorilla baked the koala a cake. Carola got a stomach ache from it. The flamingo wanted to prove her a cure. For that he needed a crocodile boogie. So Flavio asked the butterfly to get one from the crocodile. That's why the butterfly landed on the crocodile's nose. The crocodile had to sneeze and hit the gorilla. At Weiser Naomi asks, Your Highnesses, what is your verdict? The princesses confer with each other and proclaim their judgment. We want Golo to bake an eucalyptus cake for Carola. We want Flavio to take part in a medical training course. Kitty! The princesses Serenity Cranny, Naomi and Surgeon Sun invite the animals into the palace. Together they eat Golo's eucalyptus cake and are happy. When the queen and king come back, they are very proud of their children. Serenity Cranny gathers the princesses and says, It is not easy to judge who is to blame for something. Do you see, dear princesses, how closely we are all connected? How even little things, like a homemade cake, can trigger further events? Remember, my princesses, every last deed is the first of a new chain. With every action, we create a new future. Thank you for listening.
and sorry <laughs> for my bad English and American accents, I'm German, yeah? Uh, the book is available on Amazon. You can find a link in the description below. And um, thanks to my friends and family for helping me with this project. Bye-bye.